Okay, so in this particular video, we're going to be looking at solving these two equations by eliminating y, which is asked us to do. We're going to use um, this particular value of y in here and put it into this equation. And what we're actually doing is, uh, if you can imagine that this is the equation for a circle, so x squared plus y squared equals 18 is a circle, and then this is a straight line. So what we're doing is we're working out these two coordinates where the two lines cross. Um, in this particular question, we're looking at kind of top grade GCSE, so it does take a little bit of time to work through. I'm going to go through at a fairly good pace, but hopefully uh, it will give you some idea of how we can deal with these types of questions. And please do add a comment below if you need any more help. Okay, so y minus 2x equals 3. Well, I can rewrite that as y equals 3 plus 2x, because all I've done is I've added 2x to both sides. This bit then it becomes 0, and this becomes 3 plus 2x. Okay, in this one, I've got x squared plus y squared equals 18. Now, the specific instruction we've been given is by eliminating y. So, in other words, I have to take this and put it into this y part of the equation. So I'm going to rewrite that as x squared plus, and rather than writing y, I've got 3 plus 2x. Now just be a little bit careful here. It is a squared term, and that's one of the things you need to watch out for, that you need to make sure you square it in order to uh, solve this. So let's square this out now. I've got x squared, and 3 plus 2x, I'm going to rewrite as 3 plus 2x times 3 plus 2x, and that equals 18. Okay, now um, I can then say that x squared, and I've got 3 times 3 is 9. Now, I'm just going to skip a step here, just because it's easier for the video, but you appreciate I've got 3 times plus 2x is plus 6x plus another 6x, that's going to be plus 12x, and then I've got plus 4x squared, and that equals 18. Okay, let's just now gather up the like terms. So I'm going to put x squared plus 4x squared together, so that becomes 5x squared, and then I've got 12x on its own. Now I've also got 18 over here and 9 here. Well, I need this to equal to 0 in order to factorise it. So I'm going to bring this 18 over. I'm going to minus 18 from both sides and end up with 9. Minus 18 is minus 9, and that equals 0. Excellent. So I'm now in a position where I can factorise this. Now, at this point, you might want to go and use quadratic formula. That's perfectly fine if you do. I personally, I'm going to use the cross method because I know the two numbers that make 5x squared are going to be 5x and x. Now, you might not be familiar with this method. I will provide a link through it to one of my videos and you can have a look at it for yourself. Or you can just go right ahead and use the formula and you're still going to get the same solution I am. Um, the reason I like this method is because I know that the two numbers that multiply together to make 9 are going to be either 3 and 3 or 9 and 1. Well, I'm going to use 3 and 3 because you appreciate if I now multiply these out, what I'm doing is I'm creating two bracketed terms where this is 5x and this is x. This number 3 is going to go in here and this number 3 is going to go in here. But I need to figure out whether it's going to, one of them is going to be a negative because this minus 9. Well, 5 times 3 is going to be 15x, and x times 3 is going to be 3x. Well, that's great because 15x minus 3x is going to be 12x, so that's becoming a minus, and that'll stay as a plus. So 5x minus 3x plus 3, and that's all equal to 0. Okay, now I'm very aware that that might not be something you're familiar with, but hopefully that will give you some idea and the link will appear on the video all around about now. Okay, so uh, the two values of x I've got is um, 
5x minus 3 equals 0, so therefore x equals 3 fifths. So um, I would take that minus 3 to the other side by adding 3, so 5x equals 3, so x must equal 3 over 5, and also x equals minus 3. So I've got my two values of x which are going to be on this particular uh, graph. So I need to now take these two values and plug them into this equation. So when x equals 3 over 5, y must equal 3 plus 2 times 3 over 5. Okay, uh, just a little bit of work with fractions here, but I've got 3 plus, now 2 times 3 over 5 is 6 over 5, which I could, if I wanted to, rewrite as 1 whole and 1 fifth. So it means that the value of y is 4 and 1 fifth. Okay, so when x equals 3 over 5, y equals 4 and 1 fifth. So that's this point here. This point is going to be 3 over 5 and 4 and 1 fifth. Okay, and then the second point here is when x equals minus 3. Well, when x equals minus 3, again, I can plug it into the same equation. y equals 2 plus uh, 2 times minus 3. Okay, well, 2 times minus 3 is minus 6. So y equals 2, uh, big pardon, 3 plus minus 6 is 3 minus 6, which is y equals minus 3. Okay, so when x equals minus 3, y equals minus 3, which is this coordinate here. So that's going to be minus 3 minus 3. Okay, so that solves this, uh, these two equations and the values of x and y in those two equations are those. Now, I appreciate that's a little bit to take on board, particularly the video. Um, however, hopefully it'll give you some idea the key skills you need to have are going to be factorising and dealing with fractions. And once you can do those, you should be able to work through this uh, relatively okay. There are a couple of different examples on this playlist. Please do add a comment below, like, subscribe to the site. I look forward to seeing you inside the next video.